Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back and today we are revisiting a challenge that I haven't done for the last couple of months but if you're a regular viewer of the channel you'll remember when we did uh, this piece just here, our Dr. Manhattan for Posca Artist of the Year, that was January's one. February, March, I wasn't really too taken with the prompts and just had a lot on, but this one, April, monster, I had to get involved with this one. Um, and I don't mind telling you that it's actually the 26th of April today, just to timestamp this. And uh, I've only got a few days to get this done, so I'm planning on hopefully getting it all done tonight. But Instead of just doing a piece of artwork on a piece of canvas or paper, uh, I've got something slightly different to work on today. And it is this cap that I'm going to grab my whole tub of Poscas here. I've got my cap. I've got a vague idea of maybe what I want to do. I've literally spent like two seconds doodling something uh, and I get another few seconds doodling a couple of elements. But I think I know what I'm doing. So. I'm going to turn the camera around. I've also got a uh, tailor's chalk here to start marking some things out on this. Now I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to wing it and I'm just going to see how this goes. I've got an inspiration in mind and we're just going to go with it. So without further ado, let's turn the camera around and let's get stuck straight into it. So here we are with some rather dramatic music and a voiceover. <laughs> I don't know why I chose this music. It just, it just seemed like a bit of fun. Uh, so this is just a bit of Taylor's chalk, uh, it's a very old Taylor's chalk uh, from my sewing kit which I really want to do some more sewing actually, especially on the channel because I know you guys love all the different crafts that I do but I literally just marked out a few things on here so I've kind of been inspired uh, by Chinese and Japanese monsters, ogres, dragons, lions, all that kind of stuff um, and I'm just really winging it <laughs> I <laughs> think it's the nicest way to put it. I'm just I'm just seeing what works. I've not really got a plan in place at all. I am trying to measure to make sure things line up because obviously the chalk marks don't quite line up. Um, just to try and get a semblance of symmetry. That's difficult to say, semblance of symmetry. Uh, but yeah, other than that though, I'm literally just going in and freewheeling this. I also don't have an idea of a colour palette either, so you'll see me fussing with pens later, deciding what colours I'm going to do. But one of the, the main things I love about this style, and this just shows me as a kind of creative and as a person, I, I magpie ideas, so I see something like, ah, I like that, and it gets stored in my brain. It might be a pattern or a shape or a colour or an idea, uh, but there are several elements here that are kind of come from the the area that I'm thinking about, so those Chinese and Japanese monsters. Um, so first is kind of pattern and symmetry. There's also a third eye in the middle as well. And I'm kind of going for a fairly graphic design on this, which I think suits Poscas, obviously. Um, but really, as I say, just wing it and go with what I feel works. And because I didn't really have a creature or an animal in mind whilst I was doing this, it's just kind of evolved and I want your opinion now. So go down into the comments section below now and tell me what animal you think this is going to turn into. Uh, I'm going to give it a few seconds while I talk about other things. And then towards the end I will tell you what I think this creature looks like. But a good thing about this is obviously it's a wearable item. And I have been told that Poscas can be used on fabric and on clothes. And hadn't really believed it because I've used fabric paint in the past and fabric paint can be really hit and miss especially if it's the puffy stuff as well but really pleasantly surprised with how well this goes down how saturated the colors are and just how easy it is to use I've gone for a mid-tone uh, color on the on the hat as well on the baseball cap purposefully I did that so that I could get some lights and darks in there and have them both shine so it's just like using toned paper when you're drawing. That was my kind of idea behind that. They had some white ones and some black ones, but I thought, no, I'm going to go for grey. So I've decided on this uh, this kind of 
pink and purple with blues. So we're definitely in kind of the cool color range with a few hot pinks in there. And it's at this point, I think, that the creature starts coming to life. And for me, it starts looking a bit like a baboon, particularly when we get this blue color put in. So this is my kind of Asian inspired demonic baboon. One thing I did notice, and I don't know why it only happened here and nowhere else, but you can see on the on the eye on the left, what is the creature's right eye? There's some bleeding of the dark blue into the pink underneath, and that didn't happen anywhere else. But a good thing with Poscas is that once it's dry, you can just go over it, and you can continue going over it, and because it's so opaque, you can layer and do all sorts of things and make patterns, and that's exactly what I do on this piece as well. So that bit of blue bleeding into the pink, not an issue because I will go back later and solve it. There were a couple of areas I wanted to go over twice just to kind of get some saturation, but I found that if you're very liberal with the paint, particularly on a fabric, it soaks in and gives a nice even matte finish, so that was nice. So I've kind of got all of the elements in the main shapes that I want in this, and now I'm just going in and detailing and adding a load of patterns. There we go. Just tidying up that bit there, uh, adding an extra layer on the pink, so I'm trying to make it pop and give it some three-dimensionality. Um, so, I'm, as I say, I'm just going in and adding and adding and adding. So why am I doing this, you might ask? I mentioned it is for the Posca Artist of the Year, and some of you may not know what that is. So, Posca UK have a competition that they run through their Instagram, which is Posca Artist of the Year. Each month, they put out a prompt, and then artists can use that prompt and at least one Posca supply to create a piece of artwork and then it's up for a public vote and whoever the public vote the best that month is the finalist for that month for Posca's Artist of the Year and then all of the finalists at the uh, end of the year get to compete for a grand prize and it's a pretty swanky grand prize generally a lot of pens, uh, <laughs> that's putting it lightly it, I think last year they gave away every single pen that they do, which is just insane. I have a fraction of them. I can't imagine having all of them. Um, so, if you would like to support me and the channel, as I know lots of you do, um, and actually talking of support, well, we'll come back to that on another video, but I am going to be having some, uh, some ways that you can support the channel in future uh, directly, which would be great. But if you'd like to support me in this particular Adventure and uh, and seeing how I do on the Posca Artist of the Year. Then go onto Instagram, follow Posca UK, and when the submissions are all in, so this has to be in by the first of May, and then shortly afterwards they will be doing the public votes to see who goes through for that round. So as I say, if you'd like to support me, definitely check out Posca UK, uh, vote for me share it as well. I had a bit of a loose thread there and it got caught in the paint so I just snip it off. Um, but share the post as well, share it with your friends, same as this channel in general. I've said that I'm giving a, I'm doing a giveaway at 666 uh, subscribers. We're very close to that. That will be a smaller giveaway and then at a thousand subscribers I have a massive giveaway that I'm going to be doing. So I'm really looking forward to that and if you want to be in with a chance of winning that well then we need to get to a thousand subscribers and we need to get to 666 subscribers. So tell your friends and family, get them to subscribe, tell them how much you love the channel uh, and love hearing this professional idiot just twitter on about <laughs> art uh, and shape and colour and all that thing that, that we love to share and we love to talk about. Now that the pupils have gone in on the eyes, I feel it's really kind of come to life. It, it even has a slightly cartoony feel to it, which I wasn't expecting, but I quite like. Um, and this is a metallic silver pen, which I'm always slightly dubious of metallic colours because they always claim to be reflective of light and blah, 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 and they never live up to it. But actually, the Posca ones really do. And if I'd gone for maybe a green red color combo in this one then I think I would have used the gold Posca pen which in my opinion looks even nicer than the silver even though I generally only wear silver I think the gold looks much better in the Posca pens. Um, I actually wouldn't mind doing this again and doing some other items of clothing maybe a pair of trainers or a pair of shoes or some jeans or something but designing 
putting or at least putting designs on some other clothes as some of you know I love sewing as well and I did a Winifred Sanderson costume last year from scratch and really love getting stuck into pretty much all crafts speaking of crafts on the channel I do have more things that I'm going to be uh, reviewing <laughs> I went out today um, not intending to buy anything new and then of course popped into Hobbycraft and bought more things to review as well as things that have been sent to me to review. I've got one which is a, a brand very close to my name, if not my heart, that I really <laughs> am interested to review and that package arrived today. I've got some digital art things to review as well that are coming up very shortly. I'm excited by that. Uh, and even a sketchbook, dare I say it. Yes, me, a sketchbook. Not just any sketchbook, a custom sketchbook. I'm very excited about so that'll be coming up shortly soon also this month I've yet to do a uh, prompt squad which I will be doing this month hopefully with some Stabilo supplies uh, but I mean I, I already timestamped this as uh, <laughs> being the 26th this is now the 28th that I'm doing the voiceover uh, and tomorrow early hours of the morning I'm driving to London for a work meeting so I think I'm actually going to be recording Prompt Squad from my hotel room where I'm staying overnight. So that's going to be interesting. But um, I think we're just about finished here. So last few details and then I will catch you at the end. Well, <laughs> there you have it. I've somehow managed to create something both monstrous and camp. Um, but I... I quite like it you know what actually it's a lot of fun to draw on clothes with posca pens this is a dangerous avenue to be going down i really enjoyed it what do you guys think i kind of i think i've captured what i wanted to do i was tempted to paint the inside of a mouth under here with some teeth but didn't quite have time this time maybe in the future but um i really like the colors the blue and the pink i think works really well the nose is interesting i need a little bit more shading in here right. I'll do that now and I'll show you some beauty shots at the end but as always I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and until next time goodbye <laughs>